It's time for lesson number three, and I knew you'd come crawling back to me. <laughs> All right. In today's lesson, what I want to go over is I want to continue a little bit more of formatting. So this will be formatting uh, section two. Today we're going to learn a little bit more about fonts, uh, justification, and indentation. So we're going to learn how to align text on the left side, the right side, the center side. We're going to learn how to change the font face, and we're also going to learn how to change the font size, and we're also going to learn how to indent. So uh, the first thing that I want to do is I want to go over justification. Now most of you guys know about justification and what it is. Justification is basically just lining something up on the left side or the right side of the documents, left, right, or in the middle. Let's open up context. We're not going to mess around. We're just going to get started. New file. Things are going to be moving a little bit more quickly now, because I'm assuming that you guys watch the other videos a hundred times. Uh, new document. Let's make a skeleton. Make a skeleton with me, guys. I'm going to beat you if you guys don't start typing faster. Uh, I screwed up on that one. Ah, whew, got it. We got our HTML skeleton. Uh, so now we're going to do, and pff, hell, if I can spell the word justification, I think it's spelled something like this. Um, in our title, I want to do messing with uh, J U S D F I C A T I O N. Remember how, like in second grade, we were taught that if you can't spell it to just sound it out. Dude, I'm not an English guy. I'm a computer programmer, okay? If I, if I don't spell shit right, I don't care. Don't get on my ass for it. <laughs> Alright, file, save as. Um, this one's going to be lesson3.htm. I'm sorry, that's two. Lesson3.htm. Close it. Minimize. Um, open up my computer. I mean my documents. Open up my webs. Uh, lesson tree. Double click on her. Messing with justification. Good to go. Alright, check it out guys. Um, in between the body tags here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write um, hello world. Again, exclamation point. Um, save it. And we're going to go ahead and view the word hello world on our browser. Alright, bring her back up. Oh yeah, by by default it uh justifications on the left side. Okay, so uh we see that it's on the left, it's not on the right, it's not in the middle, it's right there. What I want to do is I want to um to mess with something here and it's uh going to be pretty except once I get my little mouse cursor to work properly. Um Okay, we're good to go. What I need to do is I need to align the text. Alright? So the best way to align text and here's the reason why I say that is to break it up into paragraphs and I'll show you why. I'm going to do it without doing paragraphs first and then I'm going to show you. If I do A-L-I-G align equals and then in quotation what I'm going to do is I'm going to do center and then I'm going to end my tag. Uh, what do you guys think this is going to do? Save it. Let's check it out. Nothing. Hmm. Nothing. Should have done something. A L I G N. Maybe I have to have it as a paragraph. Hold on, let me do P align. I think that's right. Before I uh, gloat. Okay, sorry about that, guys. We need to have it as a paragraph, at least in the uh, the format that we're doing here. We need to have it in a paragraph. So everything we're, we're starting a paragraph, right? Paragraph align in the center. Whatever's here is going to be output to the screen and then end paragraph. Now we write this in a more easy to read way. We can put an enter there and an enter there. It takes up more lines, but you can see where the paragraph starts, what's being output to the screen, where the paragraph ends. Save it. And it's actually better to do it this way. There is a way you can do it without having to do paragraphs, but I'm not even going to show it. This is just too much, too much better. Below it, I'm going to write, um, Kevin here again. Enter. Save it. Let's see what this outputs. This is going to output Kevin here again. 
on the left side. Straight. So the cool thing is, when I close this off, things aren't being aligned in the center anymore. Let's say I want Kevin here again uh, to be aligned in the center. I'm just going to copy it. Control X is the window shortcut to cut. Um, enter, paste. Uh, but as you guys know, you guys are smart. We got to do a line break here. Save it. Refresh. Hello world, Kevin here again. Uh, now as you guys can probably figure out, and I'm gonna erase this, and I'm gonna be like, this is in the center! Exclamation point. All right, and uh, let's type our skeleton again. Uh, we got P A L I G N equals and then let's do um, right and then close the tag and then slash P here's our skeleton and I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste it below and change the word right to left left in between here this is on the right copy this is on the left. Actually, I should I didn't even paste it. Oh well. Save. Let's bring it up. This is in the center. This is on the right. This is on the left. So that's pretty cool. We know how to align things in the center. We know how to do all that fun stuff. That was the express, the express lesson. Now let's start talking about uh, fonts. Cool. Uh, this is pretty easy, and we will learn how to apply this. Okay, uh, right now we're not really applying it. We're just learning how to do it. So um, we're going to keep that on there, and then we're going to learn how to change the font. So check this out. I want to change this to, let's say, Arial. Arial is a, a pretty, pretty good, uh, pretty good font. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to start a tag called font. Okay. So if I open the tag and I do font. In here, I have a whole number of options, and if I do space, I can ch uh, choose the size, I can choose the face. Face is basically just changing the font. So if I do font, and then I do face equals, and then in quotations, I type Arial, and then end quote, and then I'm going to end my font tag, and of course, I'm going to have to close my font tag. I don't really have to close it if I want the entire document to be in Arial, but if I only want to segment this line to be in one font, we're going to do this, um, slash font. So everything in between here is going to be Arial, and then everything down here is going to be default. With default is, I believe, the uh, Times font. Open this, refresh, oh my goodness, different font in the center, <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. And you know, let's let's go ahead. Let's um, I'm gonna cheat a little bit here. I'm gonna open up WordPad and look at all the different fonts that we have to play with. Um, let us do. Hmm. Let's find a font that we can mess with. Let's do this font. I'm gonna click up here, right click, copy it. And then for um, for right justification, we're gonna we're gonna make this font face equals that font, whatever that is, close it, and we're going to do this a little bit differently. I'm going to bring this back up to this line, go to the end of the line, and then I'm going to close my font tag. I can do all this on the same line. I just broke it up here to make it a little bit more readable. As a matter of fact, I'm going to mess with you guys a little more. I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to bring this up. All of this now is on the same line, and it's going to output exactly as it would if I broke it up. Look at this. <laughs> now let's choose a font for uh, for this one over here. Hmm. See, I don't have these fonts memorized. What does impact look like? Right click. Let's copy that. So I'm going to do... Again, I'm going to take this all up to the same line. So in between my paragraph tags, I have this is on the left. I'm going to open up a font tag, and I'm going to change the face to... Whoops. Um face equals and then I'm going to say impact. I could have typed that in manually but I already had it copied. Impact inside quotation marks and then I'm going to uh, close the font save it 
So now I have three different fonts on my three different thingies lined up on the, uh, this is in the center, this is on the right, and this is on the left. Awesome. Um, let's, let's mess around here for a second. Let's just say, and I'm going to change this back. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna make this all bad. I'm gonna make this all wrong. Let's say I forgot to close this, and I, I meant for this to be in the times font, which is what the default is. But I didn't close this top one. I do have a close here, however. Let's see what happened. Save. Refresh. These are gonna both be in the same font. Let's go a little bit further because syntactically this is correct. If I erase font. Syntactically, this is wrong, right? Because you have a font, and we're not even closing the font anywhere. If you guys are used to other programming languages that, like C++, they would they would have a field day. It would be like, what the hell are you trying to do? I'm not going to work. Check out what HTML does. Works anyway, man. <laughs> so you got to be really careful when you're coding this stuff. This is why I'm a big fan of coding things myself, because that way I know that things are going good. I know exactly what I'm doing. Um, so, that works fine even though we didn't want it to. I'm going to put this back, make this exactly the way we had it before, closing the font tag, and again I'm going to close the font tag because I'm a fan of proper uh, proper syntax. Double check my work here. Cool. Everything's good to go. Um, another one real quick I want to do is I want to learn how to change the font size. Now we, we're going to start with this one. We're going to pick on the one in the center first. Remember how I told you there were different options that we could put in here. And we're going to learn how to put more than one. The easiest way to change the font size is inside the tag here. I'm going to push space and keyword size equals and we'll do it size 5. So you can see that I have two specifications inside my font tag. I have the size and I have the face. Okay? And uh, by closing my font tag, I'm saying that I want this only to be applicable to what's in between my font tags. Save it. Refresh it. This is nice and big. And let's mess with the other guys here real quick. We got font. Doesn't matter what order we put them in. Check it out. Size equals one space. Let's save it. Uh, click it. No, it doesn't. It doesn't matter what order you put it in at all. And let's do one more down here. Size equals. Let's see what 50 does. See if it even outputs it. Save. I'm a fan of screwing around. Oh my goodness, that's not 50. I guess maybe it is. But. You guys get the point. Everything here works just as fine. Now let's. Um, I, I think that's that's pretty cool. You know, um, I was gonna bold and italicize a couple of things, but I think I really ran that into the ground. And if you guys watch the video on uh, how to solve the problem that I gave you, it's really gonna be ran into the ground. So the next thing I want to do is I want to learn how to indent. Now earlier um, and previously, what we did was we. Um, we did the end BSP thing. Remember that? What we're going to do right now is, um, and I'm, I'm kind of working on my other screen, um, I want to learn how to indent. So there's actually a way we can do that. Um, before, let me see if I can grab what we did in lesson two. What did I end off? Ah, oh, damn it. This isn't what I wanted to do. But we can work with this. Check this out. Uh, I'm going to go back to lesson2.htm. So get, instead of three, we're going to go back to two. Press enter. Okay. So then we got this this thing that we made, right? Um, only the word bold is in bold. Um, so what if I wanted to indent this line over, and I didn't want to do the end, uh, you know, the, the little confusing ASCII space that we did before? Open this back up. What I want to do is I'm going to block this off. So I'm going to take this down a couple of spaces. And um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to take the line break down too. So now I've isolated the code that I want to have indented. Um, if I do a tag here, and here's how I do it. Block quote.
An N. Damn it. <laughs> An N block quote. Save it. Refresh. Oh my. Alright. So, I blocked it off entirely. It's indented. Now, if I had the entire paragraph in here, like, let's just say, um, I copied all this, and I did Control X, and I brought this in here, Control V, to print it, save, headings, all of it's indented. Now, if I want to only indent the first one, let me kill this, I'll paste this over top of the line break. First one's indented, there's a space in between them, and then the rest of it continues. This is really good, like if you're looking to uh, work on paragraphs and you want to have indentation for your paragraphs and things like that. Uh, so, I mean, that's some pretty good happy times. So, um, keep this in mind when it comes time to, uh, to do cool stuff. Now, if we need to indent again, like if I want this to be double indented, dude, it's not complicated. Open up context. We got a block quote. Let's copy this. I'm going to push enter. And I'm going to space over. I'm going to paste another one. Only because what this does is it separates them. It makes it easier to read for me. I'm going to copy this one. And below it. And we'll take this one over three. What I'm saying is indent in between here. And then I'm saying indent yet again in between here. So this is double indentation. Save it. Watch what we got, guys. Goes over twice. Cool. Good times. And again, pretty simple. If we want to get rid of one, erase it. Erase it. Bring it back and make it nice and pretty looking again. Save it. And refresh. Everything worked out beautifully. So in this lesson, everybody, we learned how to, and we'll look at it again real quick just to recap. Put things in the center. Center justification, right justification, and uh, left justification. And if we go back here, here's the code how to do it. Let's make this more uniform and take this up here, take this up here, take this up here, and whoops, what I do? Take this up there. So this one's going to be center justified. This one's going to be right justified. This one's going to be left justified. We also learn how to change the font base and the font size. If we take a look at our opening font tag. That's what this deal is all about. We got face, we got size. Face is the font, size is how big it is. And again, in this one down here, we see we did size first and face second. Doesn't matter. Still executes the same way. And then after that, we uh, kind of messed around again. So that about wraps it up for this lesson. Um, you know, kick some ass, program, do this a couple of times. See you in the next one.